Hello beautiful souls. Um, it is February 19th, 2020 and I am just feeling the urge uh, to channel a message. Usually I channel in the morning so something interesting must be trying to come through. So I'm gonna do some toning and connect with that frequency and let's see what comes through. All right, thank you so much for watching. Blessings, beautiful beings of Earth. Uh, we have much gratitude for this uh, transmission. Uh, we come to you at a time of great unrest. We understand that there is a lot that you are processing and working through individually and collectively. We want to bring the awareness to, to you that you are not alone, that there is time to sort out these situations, these problems as you might say, and that there is, as you would say, no rush. This comes to you because of the time difference when it comes to your reality versus other realities. Your time experience is limited to the third dimension, and when you understand this piece, you will learn to start uh, playing with uh, that time-space reality. Uh, it's important to understand that your creation process is, uh, as we would say, complete. Anything that you have perceived to be not in your reality is... Uh, only a perception due to your lack of awareness of it. It is important to understand that there is really no difference between the manifested experience and as you would say in the physical experience versus it being in the non-physical. The only difference is your perception of it. This stems from beliefs, stories, and perceptions that you choose to hold or have been programmed to hold because of your mm, society or past traumas that you may have incurred when you were younger or have re-explored now that you are in your later years. Uh, The dynamics on your planet are in a very interesting space as we connect with you at this time. Uh, there seems to be some sort of intense energy that is uh, happening on your planet that you are all feeling but may not be aware of. Uh, it is important to know that there are other dynamics playing out on your planet that are less obvious than the ones that you are so deeply focused on, namely your environment, uh, the political system, and the things that you see on your television screens. Uh, there are lots of things in the background that are actually causing more tension for you as a collective that you do not know about. Uh, it's important that you understand that this is so... Hold, please. Uh, it is important for you to understand that your focus at this time is extremely, extremely vital when it comes to the reality you are going to perceive. Uh, it is very easy to get caught up in the, as you would call it, drama of the planet and not focus on the things that actually make you feel good or, as we would say, raise your vibration to elevate you into a different state of consciousness and reality. Uh, 
It's important to understand that your guidance system in your bodies is so finely tuned that you can trust it with everything, even though it, this is a challenge for you coming into mm, halfway through using a tool that you were never taught to use, so to speak. It's imagine if you've been trying to drive a car and you are only now for the last you know several years and you are only now being shown how to actually do it uh, you didn't know about the gas you didn't know about the pedals you don't understand how they all work and now after years and years of trying to drive this car and getting nowhere you are being handed a manual this can be very difficult if you have believed for so long that you knew how to, as you would say, know how to drive the car. It is now important that you start understanding that most of your beliefs around your physical body are, we would say, inaccurate. Uh, there are systems at play within your physical body and collectively, as you interact with each other, that you have not been aware of. And it's important that you start understanding that these aspects of you are as natural to you as anything else. You just have not been aware that they were there. Telecommunication, telepathy. Oh, please. Uh... moving energy and uh, understanding what's going on around you without there being a physical sense picking it up. Uh, these are very, very natural to you and this is why your children find it much more easy to engage in these practices that you would call the imagination or fantasies. Uh, it is important to understand that anything on your planet that excites you when it comes to the, as you would call it, fantasy world, which is not exactly accurate, it is just the world you have forgotten, these aspects of your world are there, they draw you in, they excite you because they are a reflection of what you have rejected within yourselves. Uh, this is not to say that you can walk out your door and fly as those beliefs go very deep, but it is important to understand that your body is much more capable than you realize. Uh, your body, just like everything else in the 3D and beyond this reality, is just energy and it is just as mutable as anything else in the universe when you realize that your thoughts are that powerful. The issue that you are struggling with is even though you mentally understand or believe or possibly are even curious about that your mind can create your reality, that your thoughts and your intentions and your focus create your reality, on a deeper level you don't fully believe it and this is why it is harder for you to manifest these things at this time. That isn't to say that it isn't shifting. A lot of you are coming into a space of understanding that these things have been limitations versus impossibilities. Uh, it is important that you start pushing on the edges of your comfort zone when it comes to what you want to explore in these realms. Uh, the only way you will be able to open up these abilities is to push on the boundaries of what you believe you can and cannot do. Do not fear that you will be disappointed as long as you understand that this may not all come in at once. Again, this will be different for each of you depending on your beliefs and letting go of your stories. Uh, but it is important to understand that you are in a learning phase, a learning curve, and it will take time to adjust into these new realities of your own body and collectively. Uh... Oh, please. Uh... You are all receiving upgrades at this time. Some of you who have been aware of this process have definitely been feeling it. You have been exploring it with your collective uh, families, uh, as you would call them soul families here on this planet for some of you. Uh, some of you would call it kindred spirits. Uh, there are other terms for it as well. Uh, some of you are noticing that there are deep synchronicities happening and that you are all, as you might say, leveling up. Uh, it's important to understand that these are not random. 
this was planned out for you within these numbers of the year you are proceeding into 2020 the clarity uh the coming together the understanding of what's going on and most of you are feeling like this is the only thing you can really focus on whereas before you found it easy to ignore these things this is not the case and this is very exciting it can feel a little challenging at first but you will soon see that this is more comfortable in the long run than the resistance you have held in the past You are learning to trust in yourself and in the laws of the universe. This is a very exciting time for your planet. And even if it doesn't seem like it's manifesting in the physical world, so much is happening on an energetic level that you can begin to trust it as if it is already manifested here on this planet. In fact, if you focus on it as if it has manifested, it will manifest faster for you. It is important that you start seeing your planet in its best opportunity instead of seeing it in its least desirable form. As humans, it is very easy for you to always look at what isn't working and the negative. It is important, like you would in any relationship, that you start seeing your planet collectively, the human race, the planet, the connections you make on the planet, in their highest state, in their most excellent state, their highest potential. When you start focusing on the planet in this way, things will move a lot more smoothly and quickly when it comes to the reality you're perceiving as this evolution takes place. It is important to understand that your relationship with your planet, your home, and the collective beings that reside on this planet is just like any other relationship. It must be nurtured, it must be uh, appreciated, it must be understood as a growing, living, breathing organism that needs love, that needs support and compassion and this is an important distinction between seeing it as a rock and a living organism that genuinely is in relationship with each individual being on the planet this is humans this is other beings that are on your planet from the smallest smallest being to the largest being on your home planet uh, We thank you so much for this transmission and we have much, much gratitude for the connection that you are opening up, that we may assist you in this evolution and that you may also assist us in learning on a greater scale what this evolution is for the collective uh, consciousness in the universe. Uh, this is a beautiful exchange and we have deep, deep gratitude for you, for your planet, and all that you are learning and growing in. This is a very exciting time and we look forward to further communications. Uh, much love, peace, and unity to you at this time. Uh, peace. We are complete. End transmission. Thank you for watching. Namaste.